The recent updates of Doom and Doom 2 are really cool. I've been really enjoying looking through what's available here. Just to summarize it right at the front of this video, um, the new releases of Doom that you can get on Steam and GOG, and I believe on uh, Switch, Xbox as well, possibly other platforms too. Um, it comes with awesome built-in multiplayer. It's preliminary support, so you can only play the IWADs and one, granted good, but one Deathmatch Megawad that was included. I'm really hoping if it stays that way, they include Bourgeois Deathmatch. But um, I'm actually hoping beyond that, that you can use custom files for their online server soon. That will be amazing. Um, another awesome feature is a mod called Legacy of Rust, and beyond that, the ability for community uploads within the game. You can actually upload any mod you want. It's a little bit of the Wild West situation going on right now, so they're definitely gonna have to uh, clamp down on that and get some sort of verification process in place, but for the time being, I have to say it is really awesome to have all these mods available and the ease of uploading. The thing that really amazes me, so the multiplayer is great, the mods are great, but another thing that's really incredible that's gonna be the premise of this video is the custom assets that have been released, or uh, rather the unused assets that have been released. They are incredible. There is, if you look in Steam, at your Doom file, if you right click your Doom plus Doom 2 and you update it, and then you go to uh, Browse Local Files, if you go into Re-Release in Slade, you can find this cool little file called common.kpf. And when you open this up, you can see there's a ton of, there's a folder called Vault here, and then in Menu, there's another folder called Vault. And these two folders have so much cool stuff in here. Firstly, there's five wads, which we can't look at. It. I can show you these in proper detail a little bit later in the video. We already had versions of these maps out there, but these are like in between versions of refueling base and, uh, you know, the spirit world and stuff like that, that were not like, they're more complete than the beta versions we had, but they're not the final version. So it's very interesting. We have this MIDI here is really just a uh, truncated version of the Icon of Sin theme. But this MIDI here is a new unused MIDI that we've never heard before. So yeah, I mean, that's really the gist of it, but it's uh, it's a simple MIDI, but it's awesome to hear an unused MIDI that um, hasn't really been released before. The sounds, the sounds are an incredible part of this. I'm not gonna go through every single one here because it'd be very tedious, but not only are um, a lot of the beta sounds very interesting, but you can find them in other id software type games. Some of them are from the Super Nintendo version of Wolfenstein. Some of them ended up in Heretic and Hexen. That longer version of the player death scream is so cool. See, there's some, uh... Oh look, it's the, um, demon dying sound without the snort at the beginning is here. That was another Wolfenstein sound. So yeah, it's just really cool looking through these. You can see all the different variations that ended up. Some of these are used for the Revenant sound. That's like the actual pistol sound uh, pre-compression, I guess. Oh, the rats when you shoot the rats. Yeah, there's so much cool stuff here. So I don't want to ramble too long and go through these, but you guys will enjoy looking through them. And then the sprites. Oh man, this is the real gold mine here. There's so many cool, a lot of these were in pre-released um, content before, 
But like this was never there. This was never there. This like BFG thing. Look at that. The other alternate rotations for the Baron Fireball. Um, I find this stuff to just be such a cool, like, this is the most excited I've been ever for a Doom re-release since, like, I first discovered, like, I never has an official classic Doom re-release excited me this much. Look at this, you can see different little electric effects and stuff that were never in there. Um, they, a lot of this isn't in the existing alphas we have that we've had access to for years either. I put out a video a couple years ago. Uh, lamenting that Romero couldn't release any more unused assets, but saying, well, at least most of it's out there anyway, but look how much was not out there yet. And this is just part one of the vault. You can see all these different little, like, look at this cool little Cacodemon health files. You know, I've looked through all this stuff uh, immediately when I got it. And I was like, I have to make a video and show others this so they can look through it themselves. Um, I'm not going to have... So the way to get this will be through Steam or GOG. Um, or, you know, you could set sail like a pirate. Um, probably going to be available on archive.org, but I don't quote me on that. But man, like it is really cool. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the green guts in the middle of the imp too. So this confirms that canonically some of the imp's organs are in fact green. So for anyone who is wondering... There you go. Look at this. And the spider mastermind casting a uh, magic spell. I'm sorry if I sound excited like a kid in a candy shop, but I seriously never thought... I didn't think any of this stuff was saved, let alone that we'd see it. You know what I mean? We have pre-zombie man sprites. You could see an extra large, extra bloody jib animation there. And of course, the full rotations, which... Thankfully, we've had for the last about 10 years now, but still, it's just awesome to see them. You know what I mean? It's it's great. Oops. Oh, yeah, that's another awesome feature in this. There's a really high quality soundtrack remake by uh, Andrew Hulschult, I believe it's pronounced. And yeah, he um, he made an amazing like that's another feature I forgot to even mention at the top of this video. Um. Here we go, more player rotation sprites, which are awesome. But the thing that's really cool here, there's a bloodless death sprite. So I find that to be speed. really fascinating. And then there's an alternate one. So there's the bloodless one with his arms down. And then there's the head popping off. And then there's the split in the middle one, which we've seen before, but is still awesome. Different uh, barrel variations. It looks like a different like nukage thing in there. You can see it spilling over the edge. That looks really cool. Alternate explosion frame from the final one that we got. Man, there's just so many props in here. It looks like these were deliberately aligned to be used for modders as well. So I can't help but feel like, you know, they put this out knowing people are gonna want to use these for mods. But the really cool thing is, um, oh, look at this. This chainsaw that has more frames of animation. But then there's another chainsaw here where you can see it kind of like, it has more animations of idling and sort of pumping, which just looks awesome. And the fist, you got the full fist graphic there. I'm just doing a skim through. I, I want to leave you guys some treats to discover on your own. But look at that, that's cool. Like. It probably looks weird in game, but just looking at it in the editor, those seeing the pistol from different angles like that is just awesome. Oh, and there's completely alternate um, rocket launcher related graphics. Look at that. That's like a preliminary graphic or something. And it looks like it is the same thing the rocket launcher is based on, but that's just really cool. I had never seen that graphic before. It looks like something that you'd see in an old PWAD from 1994, actually. Um, they've got the classic shotgun, which has the big base, which to be fair, we've seen that. But we have not seen the big super shotgun. You can actually see it, the shells pop out and I'm loading it back in. I mean, that just is awesome. They, you wouldn't be able to see it in game anyway, but it's just really cool to see those graphics after all this time. So... Um, now what I'm gonna get into is the next part of the vault here. I know it's already been 10 minutes, but hopefully you guys are as fascinated by this as I am. 
So when you go to menu, vault, you can see even more types of stuff here. This stuff isn't like formatted and ready to go, but it's cool that there's even more. Like you can see the sketch work for the Doom Guy sprites here. There's the figurine as they digitized it, which is really interesting to me. And you can see the um, they haven't really got the face plate quite right yet in that sprite on the top left there. More full walking frames. Look at that. Oh, and look at that on the top left, really different like spriting style. Looks almost more cartoonish. You can tell it's very preliminary. And this is what they used when they downscaled the Spider Mastermind to the Arachnatron. That's what we're seeing here is the very first steps of doing that sprite. Looks like they're working on a different color palette there, perhaps. Oh man, and look at this. Larger, like, alternate arch file sprites. I mean, this is just such cool stuff. These are incredible. This is like that wall sliding enemy was, I guess, supposed to shoot Lost Souls, perhaps? A lot of these faces ended up reused in the SP face texture, of course. You can see there's the Baron where they got the hung Baron sprite. And they're working on how to do the the actual jibbing effect there. So there's the digitized figurine. More unused graphics pre Cyber Demon. I mean, this stuff is just so fascinating. I really did not think. I mean, the out we already had so many resources. But I never expected to see stuff like this. Like you can see, here's the early when they're adapting the chain gunner from the shotgunner, making him a bit thicker. That's really interesting there. Um, oh, and this is cool. Uh, the zombie man on the bottom right, there's been a skin of the zombie man out there on servers that looks like that for years. And it's just interesting to know a sprite that looks almost identical actually existed beforehand with the green armor rather than the brown. It's really, really cool. There's the full rotations for the zombie man. Early splatter sprite. And you can see it's for the zombie man too. And which is interesting to me. Uh, Cause I always thought that the brown bit on the right was part of the imp's head. They adapted it to be like the imp's scalp in the imp uh, jibbing graphic. So that's interesting as well. There's when they recolored the zombie man to the shotgun and made him bald. Oh, look at that initial firing frames. You can see him reloading on the bottom right there. That's cool. He never had like a holding his gun up before he fires and that's kind of like how the Wolfenstein SS's have their guns held up before they point and shoot. That's really cool. Another splatter sprite. Very detailed early loss. So, oh, and they're working out what are they going to do for the Hell Knight? The one second to the right was of course what they ultimately landed on. Um, that's really cool. Oh, bottom right, for sure, here. Yeah, that's that's the Hell Knight that we know and love. With the brown hooves and all. Imps, early imp sprites. And look at this, a winged imp. This is really cool. Like, this looks like uh, an enemy that appeared on Realm 667 and in other mods. You know, the community basically made this themselves. Um... Early Lost Soul sprites, very interesting to see, based on the Doom Guy Ouch face, which makes sense. Oh, these complete Mancubus sprites and, uh, you know, proto Mancubus sprites. I mean, look at that. You can see where they clean it. Like, the cleaning up process is illustrated so well here. Um, let me see. Yeah, you can see other preliminary Mancubus sprites. They're working out how exactly they wanted the blood on them. That looks pretty cool with it like that. that. That's a really cool sort of variant there with the blood visibly dripping down. Oh man, <laughs> modders are going to have a field day with this. And <laughs> there's the icon of Sin Romero face. Classic. Early demon sprites. You can see those ones on the top left. These were like the early walking sprites that didn't go get used. When you look at those in game, they look kind of stilted and they ended up redoing them. 
see here they're actually working out how they want that demon to walk and we never thought this is something that i think everyone in the community thought was lost the early revenant sprites i mean check that out dude that is that is going to be the basis of some recolors and some edits coming up i just know it <laughs> i really did not think these still existed <laughs> there's the mastermind casting his magic spell different graphics of him tilting and falling to the ground looks like he had full death rotation animations at one point or at least they were planning on it more preliminary pickups there's the khaki demon based health vials and stuff the cool little uh, helmets when they're the early to the berserk stim pack <laughs> That would be cool if there was a Berserk that added, like, 50, and it was a little like that. I guess it would be pointless, but it would be nice for situations where you want to give the player an in-between amount of health. Early um, invisibility sphere graphics, very cool. You can see, look, it looks like the Lost Soul that's in the orb there. You can see it's a Lost Soul face in there. It was looking to the right initially. And these radiation suit variations, look, some of them were all dirty. They ended up going with basically the bottom left just with green boots. This is cool to see the one with the helmet there. Very interesting. A lot of runes. None of these runes ended up in the game. Early shotgun sprites. And the pistol sprite there actually looks really cool. These are pretty much finished versions of the um, Alpha Sprites. Look, it all says Id Vault 2024 on there. Man, this is just really cool. I didn't even notice that because they have other stuff. It, they've done the exact same formatting as the actual uh, graphics that came out from Romero. So, I mean, this is just amazing to me. There's the Baron hung by its head. A more complete hanging sprites again. Not Mussolini. This is not Mussolini. It's a G.I. Joe. I've had people actually argue with me even since I put up the video proving it. So, <laughs> I just had to whine about that. Early pulls. There's the chair. The infamous office chair and breaking lamp. Look at these super proto sprites. They resemble the ones in the very early alphas, like 0 0.3 and stuff. There's armor on the bottom there, very, very early, four different colors of armor that ended up being the four player colors, of course. Different barrel graphics. A lot of this stuff is very obviously unfinished. I love that guts pile. I have used that before. Early, um, the, you know, the cavern shots for the sky here. And the textures, man, these are really interesting to see, like, alternate versions. They're going to do a hell sky. This is, I don't know what's going on here. Um, but yeah, you can see all kinds of different things that they did to make the sky look better. Very cool. Early Doom 2 skies. Episode 3. Look at that, you can actually see... I really like that one there. I mean, that looks really cool. Um, let's see. So anyway, I think I've gone enough. I'm looking through all these graphics. You guys can look. Look, there's the sweet little dead bunny. See, it didn't look gory enough, I guess. That would have already creeped me out. But he knew. Adrian Carmack knew opening the mouth made it creepier. It's so cool to see that, too. And look, there's a perfect daisy sprite. <laughs> Completely, like, no grass or anything. That's adorable. Uh, let's see. Different font. They're working out the font here. So I'm going to show you guys. Uh... Oh, this is a thing that I had to look get to. The unused Doom Guy faces are just hilarious. I mean, he looks like the Doom 3 guy. He really does. Um, I'm expecting to see that as the basis of mods. And look, different character portraits. I guess they didn't know what they wanted yet, or maybe they were thinking of using different characters. The black Doom guy with shades and an afro is hilarious to me. I love that. I think that's just awesome. Like, 
the sort of scientist, uh, stuck up scientist guy here, an alternate Doom guy with different hairstyles. I mean, these are just so cool. You know, these are, you know, modders are going to be using these, and I'm glad they are. And look at that smooth animation of Doom guy sort of grimacing on the right and smiling in the middle there. Look at that alternate Doom guy smile that we've never seen before. That's so cool, man. I can't wait to see these things uh, being used by people. Now, I've gone and looked through a lot of the cool, cool stuff that's unused here. Your troubles just got bigger. <laughs> Dude, that is so similar to the Doomed to Die title screen. I'm actually baffled by that. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Wow, look at all these different Doom graphics, too. That's the final one there, just red. They're cleaning it up still. Um, you can see that this is before. Doom guy was really sunburned, you know? <laughs> Working out the finer details. With or without the cacodemon? With, of course, come on now. They're like, what color should we make him? Ah, oh, they finally got the skin tone right. There we go. Look at all this. This is just, I mean, I never thought we'd see this. I know I've said that about a million times now, but seriously, like, it's just... Hey, look at that. Different alternate uh, variations. The perspective looks a little bit off with that gun, but that's just really cool to see. There's the early rifles. Still getting it down a bit. Oh, look, and then... There's the early shotgun. These chain gun graphics look awesome too, by the way. They sort of fused them in the end, it looks like to me anyway. Look at all those different variations. And for those of you who are like, yeah, yeah, I get it. I, there's a lot of, look at the different pistols. I mean, how cool are those? They edited, look, I wonder why they bothered editing the, the arm. I guess they thought it looked too skinny. Oh, long plasma gun. There's the early plasma gun. Wow, man. Early rocket launcher again. And then there's the shotgun. <laughs> we have an open hand sprite. Like, there's a sprite for chucking, uh, um, chucking pipe bombs or whatever. Just ready to go. And here's the raw super shotgun. And that's the early beta one, which we've already seen, but it's still awesome. You know what I mean? It's still great to have that actual pumping frame, which we did. I don't think we had that second pumping frame. Okay, so now it's time to dive into the maps. We, we looked at the unused MIDI. We sort of had a quick skim of the sounds, but really looked at the sprites. Now it's time to look at these unused maps. I'm going to run them using GZ Doom. The first one is the Spirit World, a very early version of Spirit World. So I'm going to use a Doom 2 for the, all the rest of them. I'm going to use Doom 1 because it looks like that is what they're designed for. So these maps are actually called COM. So you go map COM 1. And I'm going to do an id must just so we have some background music. Let me turn down the sound just a little bit. That did not seem to lower the actual sound volume much. There we go. Okay. So we've got this early version of Spirit World, but I think it's a little bit later than the one that we saw in the actual Doom 2 beta release. I did a video playing through that some time ago now, probably three years ago now. Now there's some unused textures. That's a big, or uh, not unused, but rather undefined. So that's why I'm loading it in GZ Doom. I don't want to deal with, uh, you know, I don't want to deal with that crap. Uh, let's take a look here. So going down into here, you can see this is the room that ended up 
those columns. It's cool that they're scrolling like that. I don't think they're scrolling in the final version, are they? I really don't think they are, but maybe they are. And I'm just misremembering. Little secret passage to get back out of there. Shootable. Like we're used to, the shootable walls. Let's see. Definitely unfinished. Oh wow, look at that. But that is an intentional curtain, like a secret curtain. I'm guessing that that was gonna lead to something. Like a, there's gonna be an ambush. Then the direction of the map changed a bit. Let's see. Yep. Totally, totally not done yet. <laughs> Man, this is a very early... I think this is actually earlier than the Doom 2 beta that was already available. Because look at this, it just gets to the big hellish room. This ultimately ended up being the throne room in the final map 28. Oh man, this is just very, very incomplete. Okay, so. That was the early version of the Spirit World. Oh, look at this, I got Doom World going here. Close that just so it doesn't take command. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to the rest of them are going to be opening an Ultimate Doom. This is Calm 2. And the music one. So. This is a slightly later version of Refueling Base. This was the Tom Hall version. Now this was available in the Alpha 04 and 05 that we've already seen, that's been available for many years. But, and see there's some missing textures, so never mind the zombie man. But it's a little bit more done. You can see, look, the sky isn't even there yet, it's just a, just a flat up there. Let's go ahead and get some music going so it's not quite so empty. There we go. This is cool seeing this early version. There's no... It looks like, see, the, all the monsters just come flowing out. The monster blocking lines and all that stuff were not implemented yet. But what's cool is that booby trap that's here. See that little notch on the ceiling? That is already there. It's not a BFG, but a rocket launcher. Kill some of these ugly suckers. Yeah, there we go. And see, the version that we had in the alphas did not have zombie men yet. So it's very cool to see this slightly later version I think this is before Sandy Peterson got to it. This is still the the final Tom Hall version, if I'm right. And it actually looks like he had it really crowded up with monsters. And Yellow Key was originally going to be right there. Now this area has a switch that I guess doesn't work. Because you can see that lowers. But this switch seems to just not do anything. So the actions must have actually changed internally. Like the, uh, you know, the commands don't, the, the line def action number changed, I'm guessing. Here's the back door that leads up to the cyber demons in the final version, but here, just a couple zombie men in a small gray room. This room is much bigger and brown and has a cyber demon in it. There's the windows that we can look down. Oops, ow. I got my yellow key, but I don't have my blue key. Oh no, oh no! I'm gonna go ahead and cheat. I'm gonna cheat even more. Get out of my way. 
Just want to show you guys through the rest of this map while we're here. This secret area looks like... I mean, that has secret written all over it. And yep, sure enough. Looks like there's something going on there. It's cool to see that this secret is already here. Just a med kit and some health bonuses and stuff. There's that's not, you know, obviously the mega sphere was a was nowhere nearby yet. So yeah, that's the early version of refueling base there. Very cool. Oh, one area that I forgot to show you guys. This little back area where the blue key is, this secret hallway. Where is it? Was already here. Which is interesting. But none of these compartments, like this compartment here, ended up having a secret back area. A bunch of them have secrets in the final version. In this version, they're all just blank compartments with zombie men and stuff. So, But anyway, it's, that's really cool. That's a little bit later than the version that we've seen before. So, Next up in line is COM3. Oh, man. All right, so let's see what this one has for us. Oh, this is an early version of E1M8. The lift just comes right down. It's a normal lift, because the normal lifts were slow back then. No computer area map, just health kits. Oh man. And although this wall isn't stained, there is a secret there. It's not marked yet, but it is a secret. And the Barons, it's not a star, it's just this weird sort of oblong shape. So it's cool. This is an early E1M8. Got the mega armor. I know there's a shotgun around here somewhere. And of course, none of this stuff, you know. If I kill those barons, it won't. It would have ended the level, you know, in the actual game. It won't end it here. But yeah, this would have been underwhelming. You see, just killing these barons and then it just sort of wipes to the credit screen would have been really underwhelming. The the ending where you teleport to hell and it's the big star and everything. That's just so much cooler, you know. So they really did flesh this map out in an awesome way. That's really all there is to see with that one. I'm wondering if this COM4, they got a guy who was like, I think a visual artist or something. They got him in to do some, some mapping. And apparently it was just, you know, by the time he made this small little map, uh, Sandy Peterson had already created several large maps. So I think that was, I, I believe that's the story as Romero told it. And when he made this, I'm guessing that wasn't light amps. I'm guessing that was a different power-up, you know? That's why there's so many of them laying around. Like, you see that Baron, and you're just like... Oh, Baron. Cyberdemon, and you're just like, Oh, shit, what do I do? And I think if you run down... I think maybe one of those doors has opened now? Yeah. See, so now you can kill this, this little dude here. Yeah, this map really does not have much going on. There's a... I'm just going to IDDQD it. And IDFA it. If you kill this guy... I don't even know if there's any way to open the... Uh, the last remaining little monster cubby here. Oh, here, here we go. Look at that. How about that? And there we go. I've got 54% of the kills, so... Where are the rest of these kills? Oh, I see. Something happens that triggers those imps to come out of the closet. I mean, I think we pretty much get the picture. We can see why... 
if this guy only made that little scrap in the time Sandy had made like two or three full maps, you can see why they ended up going with Sandy. I may be slightly misremembering the details there, but I believe that's pretty much how Romero put it. And finally, we got COM5, which I already know is a more complete version of the Mappa one from Alpha Doom, from the early Doom Alphas yet again. So we've got... This is pretty cool. I'm just going to do an id must really quick. Got a zombie man there. They actually implemented the outdoor and the sky. In the version in the Alpha Doom, it was just a... Like that refueling base sketch that we saw earlier, it only had the blank sky, so they finally implemented the sky, which is cool. And we've got the zombie man here. Now what's cool is this, you can see this actually, like, you can see it was a little bit boring compared to what we got, but it's not a bad map by any means. It was a pretty cool little unused level in the end. But look at this, this is kind of like a fake out. When you go to press the exit, instead the cyber demon opens up on you and these shotgunners and caca demons. Look at that, it's kind of like how what happened with um, E3 M1 and E3 M9, you know? And that looks like that closes when you go there so you can't get back. The sky thing closes. How very... This is a very interesting... I've never, uh... Never looked at this... I don't know if this version of this map existed before, but I haven't really seen it this fully. You can see a lot of concepts that ended up getting into E3 M9, like the long hallway with shotgunners, was being tested on this old map 1 that wasn't even used in the end. Because I'm sure some of you out there who are watching have seen the Alpha Doom stuff before and recognize the first part of this map. Boom, 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 boom. Blue key. Now I gotta find the blue door. It's cool to play this, like, alternate remix. I did not know, like, I'm, this map may have been out there, but I did not know of it before. So it's really cool. Oh, there's the blue door. Oh, and that's the exit. Well, the, uh, that really does it for the unused content that they put out. Um, like I said, you guys can get this on Steam uh, or GOG. You can look through all this vault stuff. It's called, the, the, it's that common file. You can look through it yourself in Slade and see all the assets, rip them out and use them. Um, you know, this is just really cool. Like, and then the multiplayer features, I urge you guys to check those out as well. The deathmatch is happening on the Megawad they provided, which is a good Megawad. And I really hope that they get some more sets included soon. But anyway, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I've had such a fun time looking through this unused content. I thought it was all out there, so this is just a big surprise for me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Take care, and we'll see you soon.